Hello and welcome to the Douglasville Impact Community Podcast. I'm Jason Post and we are excited to be back in the studio, live in the studio for the first time in a little while uh, to, film, to film another episode and record another episode of the podcast. Uh, so joining me at the table today, I have a few friends. Mm-hmm. So uh, Emily Hardaway. Hi. Ms. Nia Williams. Hey. And our special guest today is Emily Leitner with our Cultural Arts Council. Hey, everyone. So we've got a lot of fun and exciting stuff, news and events to talk about, things going on around the community, and then a lot of stuff about the CAC and what you guys are doing. So let's jump right into it, and we'll start off with uh, Emily, the first Emily, Emily number one, <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah. or, uh, <laughs> to talk about what we got coming up in the yeah. community. What's going on? Yeah, so we... It is busy season it here is. in the city of Douglasville. We have a lot going on um, coming up. Uh, on October 7th, for example, we have Halloween trivia and bingo Yay. out on O'Neill Plaza. Um, if you've <laughs> never been before, it is so much fun. There's going to be a costume contest right. oh, with nice. prizes Yeah, for first, second, third place. So Can't wait to Are see we that. eligible? I know, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, okay. no. Yeah. But I am. Yes. Yeah. I mean, hey. Emily is. Yeah. yeah. Bring out, you know, put all your efforts into this costume okay. contest. Because, oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. It's on. Yes. And. I'll dress up anyway. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's festive and fun. So, yeah, it'll be. There, I'm Small hoping festive. to see. Yeah. A lot of, uh, a lot of awesome, creative costumes out there. Um the trivia will have Halloween trivia mm. at six o'clock. Ooh. So okay. make sure you brush up on your spooky Halloween season. Themes. So maybe yeah. some new okay. hocus pocus coming out. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's tonight as we record. Yeah. Tonight. Yes. Uh, so tune in. Disney Plus. Um, and uh, bingo will be at seven o'clock PM. So it's gonna be a fun night. Um, Kumba Coffee will be serving coffee nice. and Yay. hot chocolate nice hot always drinks fun a cool night. yes mm-hmm. and uh nice. dreaming sweets will be <laughs> s- selling some sweet treats so it's gonna be an all-around fun fall evening and we got so, some prize sponsors for that one yes some donated we, prizes yes so thank you to those who donated prizes um hudson's Hickory house barbecue donated some great prizes kumba coffee And Chick-fil-A at Arbor Place Mall all have donated um, awesome prizes for us, as well as Dreaming Suites and um, the Douglasville Convention and Visitors Bureau with some awesome Douglasville swag. So, yes. So, you definitely, it's definitely a night you don't want to miss. So, yes. So, you want to be there. And I love that the weather has changed, so it's going to be a super awesome Mm. Oh, enjoyable I know. weather, yes. Yes. cool night. Wait. It's gonna feel so good. Uh, I pulled yeah. out my hoodie the other day. It was fantastic. Oh, it's love nice, it. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's love how it. I felt pulling this. Now. I was like, oh, yes. Yes. Pull over. yes. Uh, uh, it's just, it won't be too hot. It's gonna be just right, perfect. Yeah, so love very it. excited. And then on October eighth, I don't know. Uh, right. Anybody have any pets? Yeah. And yeah. Dogs? I'm yes. just a dog fan. I yeah, two dogs. dog fan. Yeah. Well. Go buy a cute little dog costume. Well, they already got there. Um, perfect. <laughs> They're ready. Perfect. Because October 8th at Worthen Park, there's going to be Bark a Ween. All right. So, yes. And this is the first year, right, for this? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. And so all of your furry friends, uh, your little dogs can come out and there's going to be a little costume contest and they're going to have vendors um, and things for kids and it's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah. that's that. It starts at 10 a.m. on that Saturday, October 8th. That's so. a cool one. So they did the Bark in the Park earlier in the year. Yeah. Uh, the Parks and Recreation Department hosted the first one earlier in the year over at Worthen Park. So this will be kind of a follow-up to that. Yeah, exactly. Kind of deal. It was a fun event then, too. So they had a lot of cool vendors and just a lot of dogs out yeah. hanging out. Getting our yeah. so. friends involved. Yeah. Yeah. in the city for everybody. Yes. yes. Even your, down to your dogs. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> and it's just a fun way, you know, it's a fun way to spend a Saturday morning getting out mm-hmm. into one of the our city parks and walking around and getting some exercise in, getting some fresh in, air. Fresh air, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it'll be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, that'll be nice. I'll be there. Yeah. Bucky oh. will be there. Do you, do you have a costume for Bucky? We have some we have some stuff, but I think Lacey's still shopping for mm-hmm. options. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're exploring yes. different options. So. I mean, you got to you got to make sure it's like 
You gotta make sure it's. I'm probably not top eligible tier. to win anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take Bucky out. But, but he'll come play. But it's but it's more than that. You gotta impress. It's the experience. You want, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta the dogs want to be dressed to impress. impress. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Right. Yes. It's the same as same as bingo. I can't win that costume contest, but I'll still be in costume probably. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. It's just fun. It's Halloween. Yes. Uh, and then also that weekend, we have a new initiative from the police department, the Faith and Blue Weekend. Um, on uh, October 8th, they're going to be having a pumpkin patch at Midway, uh, United Methodist, uh, from 12 to 4. So that'll be a great opportunity um, to come out and go to a pumpkin patch and have fun and do fall things. And then October 10th, as part of that Faith and Blue weekend, is Coffee and Conversations um, at St. James Church at 10 a.m. And that's just a good opportunity to have just conversations between, you know, with faith leaders and the police. And so that's open to the public, too. So, yeah, yeah, Yeah. so that'll be a great, great thing. Yeah. Yeah, Faith and Blue is like a national... Yes, campaign yeah. for for um, police departments and, and public safety departments all over the country. Right. Mm-hmm. So these are just a few of the events that our local PD yeah. are doing to get involved in that that movement. Yeah, and it really yeah. uh, fits into our police departments. You know, um, their initiative of one being mm-hmm. one with the community. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that yeah. And yeah, conversation. Yeah. Yes. yeah, and they're doing stuff all the time. And so they they've got a, a coffee with the cop. Mm-hmm. Also coming yes, up, that's, yeah. So they're doing; they do these all the time anyway, yeah, right? Um, so it, yeah, it's right in line with what they typically do. They're always exactly, out there yeah, connecting yeah. with people and talking to people. So, yeah. but that's a great one, especially to connect with the faith-based um, community and right. the churches and stuff like that. So, yes, for sure. Yeah. And then October fifteenth, we have Hunter's Harvest uh, yeah. at bringing it back at Hunter Park. You know, just one yet another great fall fall festival, yeah. fall festival type event. Um, just a lot of fun with bringing the kids out in their costumes and that's from 11 to three. So yeah, lots of, lots of fun stuff. And then to wrap up our events, <laughs> we're bringing back, uh, after due to popular demand, <laughs> um, stranger things day oh, that's right. again. Yes. So yes, you should be. Yeah, yes. I'm very excited. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. Um, so for all of the Stranger Things fans out there, you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be all throughout our downtown from 12 to 5 on Saturday, November 5th. And there's just going to be like, there's going to be karaoke. Uh, and then there's going to be, you know, um, an, a skating, skating rink. rink. Yeah. Um, you can go see the arcade. Uh, that's going to be set up where the show actually filmed. So right. I don't know if... I don't know if there are listeners who don't know, but the show filmed here in Douglasville, the yeah. arcade and video stores right down the street from City Hall on Church Street. Yeah. Right. And um and and the sheriff station is our public services department. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then I think Benny's Burgers uh, from season yeah, one right is also the um, in the city. And so they've done a lot of filming here. Mm-hmm. And so we're you know. We're celebrating that, yes. celebrating Stranger Things. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of downtown restaurants are going to have themed um, food, items. food items. Yeah. 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 Specialty so, things. Yeah. I mean, Love so it's that. a lot of fun. And there were a lot of people who came last year. So it was a great turnout so last year. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Yeah. I even, I talked to one uh, woman who, she said that they drove eight hours to come wow. to it. So, wow. yeah. Wow. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's awesome. So yeah. we're, we have yeah. public art projects coming to Stranger Things this year. Oh, nice. So oh, yes. awesome. I'm yeah. super excited to release that soon. So. Oh. Yeah. That's going to be really cool. That's, yeah. nice. that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you haven't watched this, obviously the Stranger Things fans have seen the most recent season. Yeah. If you haven't, go ahead and watch it before you come because yes. uh, a lot of the events and activities have been tied in. So the skating rink, yep. uh, you know, the yeah. Leon Place kind of ties into the seasons. Um, the karaoke sort of ties in. The karaoke yeah. absolutely ties yeah. in. Yeah. If you want to yeah. come out and belt no. out running up the hill. or No, 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 so, no spoilers. No. This is a spoiler free. Do yeah. it. Sing a power ballad to save the world. Yeah. That's exactly what, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, so <laughs> it's going to be so much fun, and you definitely do not want to miss it. No, so. it'll be a fun night. Yes, Thanks for a sure. fun day. So, what are the times for that one this year? Because the times changed a little it's bit. It's going right? to be from twelve to five, okay. so it's going to be during the day. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so come hang out, 
go do all the fun things and then go and have dinner at one of our down, many downtown restaurants that's offering a Stranger Things themed food item, special item or a waffle or <laughs> you know some, something fun. So it's going to be it's going to be a really great event. Yeah. That might help cuz it was also freezing last year. It, yeah. Oh my god. It was. Yeah. It was quite it was cold. It was so cold <laughs> that night. So being in the day it might be a little more bearable. Yes. Just yeah. Get the nice but fall. That's how you know it's instead. dedication of the people to yeah. come out in that's the cold. Right. Yes. Freezing cold and be here. Yeah. That's, we're excited. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's that's how that's how much stranger things means to people. Yeah. So yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it was awesome. And um, and as always, there are so many more events than just that that's yep. happening. So make sure to visit our website, uh, DouglasvilleGA.gov, um, to see all of our upcoming events, yep. um, and see what's going on in the city. You can go so. directly to DouglasvilleGA.gov slash events, and see, it'll take you, you straight to the calendar. Mm-hmm. There you straight go. to the upcoming events. Yeah, we we make Try it, to make it, it easy, easy as possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So awesome. So that's yeah. just that's just the next few weeks. I think that's like October right into the beginning of November. So that's yes. That's just it's the tip lot. of the iceberg because it's because yeah. it just time. keep going. That's yeah. right. Yes. It's, it's that time. season. That's right. So. Up. Yeah. <laughs> say parades and things coming up. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. yeah. Next episode yeah. we get to talk about that one. Probably. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. So that's the events. Thanks, Emily. Yeah. So Nia, you're gonna tell us about what news and things that's been yeah, happening around the know, community and things. News and things. All nothing right. too boring. Um, <laughs> what do you mean boring? We're local government. I know. So we have exciting Always things exciting. happening all the time. So first off, I have the Shahara Thasher, who is with the Parks and Rec- Recreation Department. She recently won the Ira Hutchinson Young Professional Award wow. from National Recreation and Parks Ethnic Minority Society. Ooh, wow. Five times. Yeah. <laughs> So we're super excited, super proud of her. Yeah. She got that award. That's so oh, awesome. She does a great I job. Know. Yeah. She yeah. did a great job. Yeah. Um, Chris Bass, who is our Parks and Recreation Director, he won the same award a few years ago. Oh, so. yeah. Yep, that makes sense. Just yeah. in the footsteps. Yeah. We just have an award-winning team. Parks Department yeah. team. Listen, yeah. Because that's not the last award we're going to I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. The city of Douglasville There's a theme to the news, I yes. see. Yes. <laughs> um, but... Along with the parks, Jesse Davis Park is closed until further notice. But for a, positive, a good one, though. For, yeah. for a positive reason, <laughs> it's getting ready to undergo the renovations and upgrades for the park. So there will be new synthetic turf. There's oh, going to wow. be a new gym with two indoor basketball courts, a zero entry pool with the splash pad, mm-hmm. more exciting. parking, yeah. a multi use trail, a dedicated senior center. Yeah. So for now, the basketball courts they're restricted, but the Hawthorne Center is still yeah. open. Okay, gotcha. This, okay. this, so it's not like closing down for some renovations or from some little makeover. This is like a this huge, like, yes. worth the wait, complete project. type project. renovation. Yeah. It's going to be a completely new, awesome. That park. is going to be fantastic. Yeah. Yes, I can't wait to see it. I can't either. It's yeah. going to look awesome. So the Hawthorne Center, if you're familiar, that is still there and will remain there, and that'll remain open. During, during this whole thing yes okay. so if you pull up and it looks like construction zone trust us it's open i guess yes. there'll <laughs> so be a way basketball courts. and they'll we still be accessible course. and all the programs yeah. that'll happen there will still be there but right around that you're adding another gym with two courts yes mm-hmm. a dedicated senior center and a lot of little green space around there just in that area and then all the the football field renovation yeah. the walking trails it's going to be a it's going to be similar it's going to be like a hunter park level renovation that's it's going to be a huge park, yeah. and right now, so the the ninety two that just comes that comes around the curve, and forever you couldn't really see Jesse Davis Park. Right, it was in the yeah. woods, and if mm-hmm. you didn't know where it was, yeah, you wouldn't be able to find it. Yeah, yeah. So now that ninety two comes around, that once they do this renovation, it's going to sit right on ninety two. So it's going to be Way a beautiful visible. gateway type park when you're coming into the city. It's going to be sitting right there, this beautiful park, um, and you'll be able to see it from the road. So it's going to be great, and with all the courts and stuff, it's going to be a destination for basketball yep. and pickleball and all the different things you can do in the different yeah. um, facilities. So it's going to be really exciting. So yeah. it's definitely a good thing that it's closing down temporarily yes. while they do that. Um, but Definitely going to be worth it. It's going to be awesome. It is. Yeah, to Super see excited. It yep. yeah. I'm excited for the seniors to have their, their new space as well. Yeah. I know that's something yeah. that's been a long time coming and that they've definitely been wanting. So I'm excited yeah. for that for them. Yeah. And they've been great 
the parks department in general has been great about uh, ramping up a lot of the senior activities. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, and the Hawthorne Center right now has kind of been the focal point for a lot of those things. So we got a lot of events that are, that are coming up around Halloween I was going to say, to add to the well, event list. To add to the have, event list. They have an so. ice right. cream social, Ooh. 50, 50 and up, um, <laughs> happening on the 14th. Yeah, there's an ice cream social. There's a seems like there's a trunk or treat maybe coming yes. up as well. Yes. 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 Um, so like I said, the events that we've mentioned, that's just some of them because we don't have time to mention all of them. Right. So right. definitely go to the website and check out the events because there's a lot more than that even coming up. But there's a lot of, of dedicated ones just for the the senior community and yep. active adults and, yeah. and different things. So a lot of stuff going on. There is. So, yes. Sorry. Very busy. No so not to toot our own horn, but to toot. <laughs> <laughs> community relations. They just recently won the 3CMA Savvy Award for Best Educational Video. And so 3CMA is the City County Communications and Marketing Association. Um, there were over 640 entries wow. yeah. in 39 categories. And we were honored with the top award for yeah. Best yeah. Educational yes. Video. So yeah. Shout out to Miss Emily <laughs> and Freddie. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, our department for helping in that initiative super yeah. proud of it and we also were confirmed for a season two so we have yes. been renewed yes. Yes. Nice. It's it's coming Jr. soon yeah. yes, for yeah. Yeah. my kids yeah. loved the show oh, yeah, it was, was fun awesome. yeah. Yeah. it was so fun to do yeah informative <laughs> but interactive it was great yeah, yeah. yeah. that's awesome and you can still check out all those videos on our youtube um if you go to yeah. city my city my city tv dot com yes. you can check yeah out all the videos and there's <laughs> lots of uh there's lots of there's something for everybody in those videos yeah. because yes. we there's a dog um with the, with the canine <laughs> unit so going back to the dogs um you we, know and we love our dogs we yes. need more dogs yeah exactly <laughs> um and you know there's a video with the mayor and and um like i said the canine and police department and there's a one video that's about uh sanitation mm-hmm. and we have the big garbage truck and mm-hmm. that does like a little oh. demonstration so so it's and we do one at parks and rec and so it's award-winning parks department people. exactly right. yeah so <laughs> it's definitely there's definitely something for everybody in those videos yeah. and so if you haven't already please check it out i'm i hope your kids will love it yes. so yes and maybe even yeah. you you may you may learn something yeah, yeah. exactly yeah learn, so it's it's really for everybody it mm-hmm. is yes absolutely yeah. yes for sure good stuff in there yeah. They're fun to do as yes, well. Yes, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, super fun. Yes, and I, I think we need to have Freddie out at more things yeah. in the city. So. I think so. Yes. Yeah. That'd be fun. Fre- to see we him need. Out. Yeah, we need to invite <laughs> Freddie out to some of these yeah, uh, city stuff. So yeah. Can do yeah. some interviews. Exactly. Yeah. So. Well, I can't wait to see what Never season know. two has in store. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> coming soon. Coming soon. Season yes. two. Yes, Ooh. that's all the news that I have. All right, the awards just always, keep coming. Right there, now there's there, there's always more, but just for never today, stop. This is all I have. But. Very nice. All right, thank you, uh, Miss Nia. And all right, that's going to bring us to our special guest today. Yes, which is uh, Emily Number Two, <laughs> <laughs> Emily Leitner, with our Cultural Arts Council. So, uh, Cultural Arts Council does a lot of amazing things in the community all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, anytime you see art anywhere, they're likely a part of it. If you come to if you come to City Hall, uh, we've got art all over the walls. It's yes. a rotating art mm-hmm. exhibit from the CAC. Yeah, um, the little hearts all over the community. Yeah, they're we're getting awesome. ready for round two. I love the hearts. Oh, yes. That's a CAC project. Yeah. The fire hydrants that are also, hydrants. also everywhere. They're awesome. All CAC stuff. So you, you guys do amazing things to bring art of all kinds to the community. Right. So tell us a little bit more about you and about the CAC and about what you guys have coming up, though. Well, so, the, you know, the whole idea of public art is getting art accessible to everyone mm-hmm. and making sure it's available um, throughout our community, throughout our districts. And I feel like we should continue with the award streak right here because, <laughs> I mean, that's really hard to follow up on after all of that. Uh, so the CAC is very thankful. We just received an award and grant from Georgia Council for the Arts nice. for our Family Arts Ventures Program. Yeah. Um, so we're super yeah. excited about that. And with our Arts Ventures Program, we're bringing curriculum-based 
greatest performances into the school system this year. Exactly. So that is, nice. have you ever taken like a crystal glass and run your finger around the top of it? It makes that noise. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we have an artist come in and he has about 100 glasses with different levels of water yeah. and he plays Beethoven. Oh, wow. So we're getting this amazing performance. And also, they're connecting it to science. So learning uh, what that act is when you rub your finger around the top mm-hmm. of that glass mm-hmm. is friction, vibration. And then when they go back to science class and the teacher is talking about friction, they're like, oh, I remember that. Because 75% of us are visual learners. Yeah. So tying that gap into something, into their everyday lesson plans that they're learning. So we're fortunate enough to be able to receive that grant from Georgia Council for the Arts. So yeah. we're going to yeah, be doing that awesome. again in the yeah. school system. I love yeah, it when they cool. when they overlap the different areas of study because it just makes sense. It does. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's one, even if you go back to the history class. Yeah. Um, so Benjamin Franklin who was really into science and right. stuff as well. Mm-hmm. So he built, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, producer, <laughs> producer Steve may remember the name of it. He built an instrument. He yeah. created an instrument that was based on the, the glasses that's just like rotating tube that does the same thing. Mm-hmm. Because his scientific mind wow. said, there's a way to do this and a better using the friction and stuff like that. So, yep. wow. so you got science, yeah. you got performing music, art you got yeah. music you got history, history. yeah it's yeah. all there there you go and we're, we're <laughs> going to dorset shoals in october with atlanta chinese dance company so oh, nice. tying oh, cool. in a chinese dance performance oh, cool. but also bringing in the cultural aspect yeah. history yeah. geography so they learn yeah. so much that they can retain it and then bring it back into the classroom as well yeah. so it's a fantastic program so we're we're very fortunate to be able to continue that uh, throughout our community and we have a, I tell you what listening to all the events <laughs> if anyone ever thinks there's not going something going on oh. in our community they just need to check out the the city calendar there yes. is yeah. yes <laughs> there's always something going on there's yeah. always something going on and you know the city is always a great partner with our annual chili cook-off which is coming up Ooh. oh yeah chili got the cool weather now yes Pulled out my hoodie, and I was like, I am ready for chili now. So October 22nd is our annual chili cook-off from 6 to 9 p.m. here on O'Neill Plaza. We'll have a costume contest as well. Everybody will come home with a goodie bag, but also we will have prizes for our top winners in each category. This isn't just for the kids. This is for the adults, too. So, Jason, bring that same costume back out. (laughs) All right. We'll see. This one you can win. This one I can win. You can win this one. (laughs) Okay, we'll take turns. And then, uh, what about our prize winning pups from the eighth? So, we will actually have a dog costume contest. So, they can come back out as well. This will be our first one, you know, making sure that we reach our furry friends as well. And uh, so, we will have a a pet costume contest. This will be our first one that we've added. It was something that, from the feedback from our community, saying they always bring their dogs out. They're there anyway in their costumes, dressed up. There was a hot dog one year. Oh, how cute. (laughs) They always come in the best costumes. So, now we have prizes and dog treats and and goodies for our, our. uh, lovely furry friends as well. Love it. Uh, so that's coming up. We have um, our volunteer luncheon coming up on October 7th. So that is appreciating our volunteers and everything that they do throughout the community. Because nice. as many may not know, the Cultural Arts Center is actually a nonprofit organization. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we're a yeah. standalone entity. So we couldn't do it without our volunteers. And so we want to make sure we appreciate them and show them love and support for everything they do, yeah. um, not only with the CAC, but throughout the community. So we'll be having a volunteer luncheon. If you're interested in getting involved with the Arts Center and making an impact on your community, we'd love to have you join uh, learn a little bit more about what we have going on, and we'll serve you lunch as well. Yeah. So. And then that night, come out to bingo. That's right. So October two for one, yeah, two, two for perfect. one. Yeah, right there. exactly. Yeah. That's a real day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we also have, of course, our rotating exhibits. So our next one is our members. So anybody who is a member of the Cultural Arts Center had the opportunity to submit a photograph. And it's surprising how many people don't think of themselves as photo photographers. Yeah. But how many times do you take pictures on your phone a day? Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Right. A lot. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> so you don't want to see my uh, photo album because there's like a thousand pictures in there right now. Yeah. It's a lot. So we are now showcasing all of our amazing photographers in our community um, that are members of the Cultural Arts Center. So that'll be on display in October and November. We'll have an opening reception the beginning of November. So we'd love to have you come out. It's Thursday, November 3rd, and we'll be from 6 to 8 p.m. So we'll have you come out, and you can meet other photographers, Mm -hmm. meet 
inspiring photographers and we'll have food and drinks and just a good time to to bond together with the community and hopefully meet somebody new yeah very, nice. very fun yeah Ooh. So a awesome. lot going on. Y'all have and, a lot going yeah. on. Yeah. That's awesome, though. And gearing up for mm. public art, as I mentioned, we have some exciting new projects that we haven't released yet, but we're excited to stay tuned uh, on the <laughs> <laughs> social media, Facebook pages of the Cultural Arts Center. And then, of course, we have our annual gala and auction. As I mentioned, we're a nonprofit, so we do fundraisers uh, about three, four times. We do our Taste of Douglasville Chili Cook-Off, and our last one's our annual gala and auction. So nice. that'll be November 19th. And this year, the theme is Around the World. Oh, cool. So it'll yeah, be a lot of fun. fun. You can dress in cultural attire or come in your formal attire, either one. Fine. We'll be featuring different foods as our dinner from around the world. So we had a food tasting the other day. And let me Ooh. say, it was amazing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So just a lot going on. So make sure to stay connected um, with the Arts Center, artsdouglas.org. And you can also subscribe to our newsletter, what has everything arts and culture related going on in our community. And you get it twice a month to your email. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. Wow. Busy, busy, busy. That's a lot. Yes. Yeah. October. And that's that. So that's October, November. And that's. Like I said, not everything that that we even have going on. So Mm -hmm. definitely things going on. Mm-hmm. All the time, every weekend, almost every day of the week, it seems like yeah. mm-hmm. um, stuff is happening. Yeah. So, uh, anything else you got coming up that you want to talk about or just brag about before we wrap uh, up the show? I mean, I could keep going on more and more because <laughs> there is always something new going on at the yeah. Art Center. So, I just stay involved, get yeah. connected. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's the city calendar, the CAC calendar, mm-hmm. visit Douglasville website has a lot of information on it. There's just always something going on. Yeah. So be an ambassador for your community yeah. and, and yeah. showcase all of that. Yeah. Or just stop by because it's always yeah. it's always fun just to, to come visit yeah. over at yeah. the, the Cultural Arts Center, uh, the house, uh, everything. So you've got the so you've got the big crayon box out front. Yes. Now, right? Yeah, yeah that's our new public <laughs> art project based off of the Lending Library's idea. Yeah. So it's free art and supplies. So nice. there's artists that have dropped off art pieces, again, making art accessible for everyone. Mm-hmm. And that was one of the things that I took on as a mission during quarantine when we weren't able to go out, go to school, things like that, um, is we wanted to keep art in the homes. So we yeah. did free art craft bags. So yeah. you could pick them up on the art center porch um, and anybody could come by, pick them up, create crafts. They could give it to somebody they could drop it back off and we could give them a shout out on our social media pages. Um, And then when school started back, we found that the art teachers weren't able to share their supplies anymore. Mm. So we started a case to where we could raise money and buy the art supplies for the teachers and schools that needed it. Um, So building off of that, uh, we created the new Crayola box. If you haven't seen it yet, driving down Hamilton Street, (laughs) it's super cute. Um, Come check it out. You can leave something. You could take something. Um, like I said, it's art and supplies. And it's been really fun to watch. You know, every couple of days I'll go and check on it to see what people pick out of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like some things I think people would, oh, this is an amazing photograph. Someone's going to take this one first. And then they go for something different. You know, it's fun to see what people choose or, yeah. or leave. Um, so definitely come by and check it out. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. That's what's great. Every time you go by, you just never know yeah. what's going to pop up out front. Or, yeah. Yeah. you know, you yeah. can check out the... The, the art box you can check out the, the heart you have one of the hearts right in front we of the do cultural have one of the arts hearts, center yep. it's super cool and each um, one has their own story in front of yeah. it so reading the story of why the artist created that yeah. um and ours is called one sky so the idea that everybody in our community and across the world is always looking up at the same sky um at oh, the end of the day oh, connecting yeah. us all together okay. um and now through art and so art is one of those things that uh i always ask the question when i talk to different organizations what is art and I get a lot of the the responses of it's painting, it's it's yeah. photography, but I'm like, what about the clothes we're wearing? What about the building we're standing in? It's a form yeah. of art. Yeah. It's a, all a form of art. It's just a matter of how we interpret it. And so I really want to showcase that throughout our community. Um, and art can help heal. Art mm-hmm. can be therapy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we need therapy now more than ever, I feel like. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. So um, we want to make sure that we're there for our community um, and whatever needs it may be. Yeah. yeah. 
absolutely and you guys are you're always there whenever anything is going on yeah you guys are there and whenever we need anything yeah there you are <laughs> yeah great partnership <laughs> yes right there. yeah we love the cac yes. so uh once again if anybody wants to find out more about the cac or connect with you guys art Doug- arts douglas dot org, dot org. yep uh, and, and from there, they can sign up for your newsletter as well. Absolutely. So that's the way to go. Yep. Excellent. Yep. All right. So that's our Community Arts Council. If you want to find anything about the city, douglasvillega.gov yep. is our website and everything Everything about the city is there. Yep. Um, yes. You can sign up for newsletters and, and notification things that there as well. And go to the slash events calendar and uh, find all yes. of the events Oof. that are coming the up. The whole list. It's the whole <laughs> long list. It is a long <laughs> list. Yeah. Yes. Because, so again, a, I only, it was just the tip of the iceberg yeah. of yep. what we talked about. We'd be we here all day. Yeah. We would. Yes. yes. Talking so. about everything. So, yeah, you can find it there. You can go to our social media pages, and we've got events yes. and things yep. listed there as well. Mm-hmm. So, however you like to yeah. engage, there, there, you know, connect there, and, and you'll find information about all the upcoming things. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Whew. So is that everything? Is that going to wrap up the show? So. Okay, Maybe. that was yeah. a lot. That was yeah. a lot of stuff we got in there. Okay, yeah. excellent. All right, so that's going to close today's show. So thank you guys for all joining us, Emily, yeah. Emily, Nia. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for having us. Thanks, Thanks for to all having, the Emilys yeah. we could find <laughs> for coming today. Um, and I uh, appreciate you guys coming and sharing all the information about events and news. So yeah. that is going to wrap up today's show. Hope everybody enjoyed it. If you have any questions, again, feel free to visit the websites. And we will see you next time on Douglasville Impact.